name me one thing that is really important for you to reach. Can be business wise, family wise, can be personal development wise, can be in your job, whatever it is. Name me one thing and then tell me how committed are you to reaching that? How committed are you to becoming that person? How committed are you to reaching that level? If you want to know more, stick around. Hello, 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 beautiful soul. Happy one Wednesday. We welcome here. And truly, this is not an easy assignment and I'm going to make it even more difficult because at this moment we are so easily distracted with all the noise that is outside, all the things that are attracting our attention, all these things we want to achieve that that there is there's so much going on that most of the time we don't even know anymore what is important for us i have heard from my from my coach from my business coach she was talking about this last week and she was telling um two years ago we had an attention span of eight seconds on social media Nowadays, we have an attention span of 1.8 seconds. So imagine how much information is coming to you. Imagine how easy it is to be distracted from what is really important for you. So that is one thing, the outer distractions. And then there is another thing, which are the inner distractions. There are messages inside of you that are saying, Hey, you, you should not go and aim for that or that. You are not good enough. You are not wealthy enough. You have nothing to say. You know the messages. I'm not here to shame you. I'm sorry. But these messages are also distracting you. So besides the fact that there are so many external distractions, there are also internal distractions. Now, if we want to put our attention to something that is really important to us, then do this. Make, draw up a list of all the things that are important. Can be personal, can be family-wise, can be with your partner, can be in your job, can be in your business, can be money-wise or financial-wise. All these things, education, list all the things that are important for you where you still want to work on. And if you can, try to make them tangible. Doesn't matter what tangible is, but um, like for me, I want to be a better uh, girlfriend. That is not tangible. So I would say, um, when I'm with my boyfriend, I want to be more stable in my emotions. That's more tangible. It's still not, you can still not use any skill on it probably, but at least to me it feels that it's more practical than just using big words. So I invite you to draw up that list of all the things that are important for you that you want to put attention to in your life. And then I invite you to rate all those things. So go ahead and rate them. It can be that there are two or three of them that have the rate of nine of importance. That can be that some of them, oh, well, they're not that important anymore, you know? So rate all the things. It can help to go through your day also and see what are the things that you're doing through the, throughout the day. Rate all of these things to the importance that you want to give to them or that they have at this moment for you. And then I want to, you to give or I invite you to give um, 
uh, commitment number to it. So rate it in how committed am I to achieve this? How committed am I to become that person? How committed am I to be that whatever is there, you know, as a goal? So that is what I am inviting you to. And then, because it's so easy to be distracted, make sure you read that list at least daily, but preferably several times per day. So that you are becoming aware of, okay, I'm committed to this. Uh, it's refreshed in my mind. Let me go and take action on that one thing and seek how it works for you maybe you need to choose one commitment today that that may be i don't know how it works for you so go ahead find out which way you can stay committed to reaching what it is that you have on your list and what you will see also is with being committed to reaching that one thing that you want to be or become, you are also decommitting yourself from the stuff that is not important for you. That may be important for other people, but not so much for you. And with you decommitting yourself from that stuff, you are giving yourself extra time to commit, commit yourself to the things that are important for you. I really wish for you that this has given you some direction in how you can be and become what it is that you want to be and become. And I'm going to challenge you some extra because I'm asking you to leave in the comments the top, top one thing you want to commit yourself to. The top one thing that you want to commit yourself to. If it feels a little bit too open to do that in the comments, then send the email. And it's not about sending that email to me, of course I would like to receive that, but it is about you committing even more. Because when you have written it and you've sent it to someone, then at that moment you are helping yourself to stay on track. It's, this is all your mind setting your mind up for the success that you want to achieve. Sending you so much love. Enjoy this exercise. Enjoy setting up your list of, of important things and rating it on commitments so that you can see in a few weeks time that you can see oh hey but things are changing oh hey this is something i want to give a bit more attention oh hey i'm not doing that bad of a job here and that is of course the aim take good care remember i love you bye bye Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, beautiful soul. If there's anything I want you to take from these videos, then it is the permission for you to shine your light. It's the most important thing. So go ahead, shine your light. I love you. Bye-bye.